Hey guys, this is MacGuys101. Today we're going to be continuing our Photoshop compositing tutorials and learn how to use color correction to correct the errors in this photo blend we did in the last tutorial. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to want to correct the stones and stuff. This looks a bit too orange over here. So to do this, we're going to be using the curves adjustment layer. Now we could do this using the adjustments layer from over here, but this actually is uh, destructive, which means it would actually change the pixels and we don't want that. So instead, we're going to do non-destructive editing and use the adjustment layers from down here. So we're going to add a curves adjustment and uh, we'll start start going in. So the first thing first, um, I think it looks a little bit too dark so we'll brighten this up a bit. Now the problem is, as you can see, it's affecting everything. Now normally you would do this by uh, only using by using the image adjustment part over there. But what we're going to do is because we want it to be non-destructive, we're going to add a clipping mask. So to do this, we're going to right click and click Create Clipping Mask. Now what this is going to do is it's going to clip this curves adjustment layer to only the selected part of this layer. So if there's anything under here, like the, the sky here, it's not going to be affected. So as you can see, if I just change this a bit, it's only affecting our one part. So uh, first you want to just uh, get the brightness pretty good level. And then we're going to start uh, adjusting each layer by itself. So I'm going to start with a red layer. You want to go to the channels part, it's it should be next to layers, if it's not, you can go to windows and uh, channel, click the red channel. Now what this will do is it'll only show the red part of the image. This will let us adjust the red uh, on a much more accurate level. So I'm going to turn the red down a little bit, as you can see it's blending pretty nicely. Then we're going to go to the green, let's change this to green, and uh, that already looked pretty good. Now the blue is probably going to be a bit different, I'm going to turn it up quite a bit. And if we go back to RGB, which is all three, you can see it looks a bit better. Maybe a little bit too much blue, we can always change that. And I think that looks pretty good. Now there's one more thing. The, I think the bottom here looks too much too blue. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer. And again, I'm going to right click, create clipping mask. And in this one, I'm going to desaturate it or remove some of the blue from the image. Now this is going to look, it's going to look a bit weird in the water here, but it's alright. Because this is a non-destructive layer, we can actually change, uh, we can, well, we can turn it on and off. We can also use the clipping mask feature like we did on this part and actually uh, remove some of the blue from only a certain part of the image. So I'm going to use the gradient tool and uh, we're going to use a linear gradient and we're going to just kind of drag down and as you can see here, it has desaturated Took, or taken out all the blue from this area so we get a nice kind of brownish orange green color tones over here and we get the nice blue for the beach you can always just uh, do that again just make it a little bit better and you can always take the eraser tool and just uh, go in there and select certain areas so this looks pretty good I think I'm just gonna add one more thing well but there is one more thing I'm gonna add a brightness and contrast layer I'm gonna right click again create clipping mask and uh, I'm just going to brighten everything up a bit, maybe add some contrast. I'm going to use the clipping mask feature and just kind of erase around here. Maybe I'm going to erase around here and just make it kind of darker so it fits in more with the sky. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe you can always just uh, change the blues a bit more, just make it pop a little bit more. But um, all together I think it looks pretty good. In the next tutorial we're gonna uh, work on, in the next tutorial we're gonna talk more about clipping masks and how to actually paint over certain areas and uh, just kind of you know make this sky blend a in a little bit more, make it look more like a horizon. So thanks for watching, Mac 101, subscribe and goodbye.